Before I start this video, I just want to say Adam's review. What is going on, guys? It's Han Programmer here. Welcome back to another Adam review. And in the last Adam review, we reviewed the Bedrock 2.0 and the helpful NPC. Those two mods are very great. However, I got a really, really cool Adam that is maybe above those two Adams. Let's see. Let's get to the video right now. To start things off, as you may know, these add-ons use scripting, means this only works for Windows 10 for now. Mojang is preparing to use these scripting features in the Android and other stuff. You can wait for that or you can use Block Launcher if you're Android to unlock the scripting. Basically it's very very cool mods. So the first thing you might need to know is this. This ingot is Tyron ingot. The way you craft it is very simple. Using 6 iron ingots and 3 diamond ingots you can get Tyron ingot. And this ingot will be very helpful. So I'm gonna store it in my ender chest I got some more. So the, let's start things off with the first tool which is the hammer hammer this is the very very cool tools if you see here if I break it like that boom it destroys uh, six blocks at a time yeah that's very very cool you can also break vertically break the middle blocks like that that will break so much stuff at one swoop it's very very awesome as you can see if I get up here and destroy this. It destroys so much of these things. Oh, it even break into the ground. Okay, so let's stop lying with this and get to the next thing, which is the chainsaw. The chainsaw is a very cool one. If you have ever noticed, it breaks entire tree at once. It's like a tree feller yeah. things on addons by Kart. Kart has made a tree feller addon which is not using scripting, which is very cool, and this one is with scripting. So, oh yeah, and this addon is made by, by Adam. Yeah, that's his name. Okay, so let's just put everything back. The next two items is very, very cool. These two items means to work together in farming condition, whether it's farming mobs or farming crops. So the first thing on the right here is pitchfork and this one is magnets. You can see why it's called pitchfork is when you right click, it does that. How cool is that? It has been tiling so much of this land and I'm using random disk pick to increase the water spreading and the dirt decaying. Anyway, let's get the seeds and let's plant them down like this. After it grows, you can pretty much just left click on one of them and it will harvest most of them automatically. This is very very cool feature, I very like this thing. This thing is really really fast. Now, if we break those like that and the items just fell all over and some get into the water, no problem, just hold the magnet and all the items will go to your inventory. That is really really cool. I I love this feature so much. This add-on has been so far the best add-on of the year uh, in 2018. But now we're in 2019 and there's no mods that came offer this mod. So I guess it's 2019 as well. So let's get to the next item. It's enemy scanner. You can see those avogar back there. If I stand here, it just beep, beep, beep slowly. However, the more I get into these things, the beep goes up. So this pretty much detects the enemy where is the closest enemy are. This is very useful, especially when you're in the cave and you hear some zombies traveling, but if you don't know where it is, you can use this thing. Sometimes you might found some spawners with this. This is very very cool. Next thing is solid fire. It's called solid fire. It is renamed from the previous version. Um, I don't know. So if you like, right click with this thing. 
8 chop stuns your entire level on your XP bar, but you get this, XP -er. You can eat this to get back your XP, however it's not 100% one level, you see there. It chops the entire level, but it doesn't give back to, you know, entire level that you chop. But it's a nice way to store your XP, so in case you want to save your things. And there's a bug there. You see there? I have just duplicated the XP here. Solid fire. Alright, so the next item. This is called Phaser. However, its crafting recipe is broken. I, I don't know what's happening. I haven't looked in the entire files, I haven't looked inside the files, but it doesn't work. But the item is there, if you use last gift, mason, phaser, you can get this. It's supposed to teleport me back there, it works on the previous side, let's, let's get into creative mode and retry. Alright, let's right click. Yes, it does teleport me, but it doesn't want to teleport me back. I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't always work, but it does work on some cases, like in the middle of these two blocks it does work. You know what makes it doesn't work backwards, but yeah, that's the phaser basically. So the next item is the boomerang. Let's go into survival mode and see what this cool thing does. Okay, let's pick it up. And when you right click, boom, it picks up blocks. You can throw it and it gets bags. That's really cool, like custom throwables. How cool is that? And it does pick up blocks. Um, let's do something crazy. Oh. Come on, yeah, yeah they're, they're trying to kill me, I'm dead, I'm dead, yeah, I'm dead, ooh, it came back, destroying my chainsaw, but it's okay, I just need to kill one more with this, come on, get wrecked, no, 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 okay, dead. To the next item. Now this is called the displacer, which is something that you use to move blocks. Let's see here. I got the ender chest and the crafting table. I shift right click the crafting table. However, you don't need to hold shift, but I use this so I don't open the GUI. And when I right click with this ender chest, it swaps them. It's really really cool. However, I haven't tested this with chest or furnace or any storage item, but it is said that it's worked. So let's try with the barrel. Okay, barrel, and a chest. Let's see inside. Yes, it does work. It's really really cool. To the next items, however, this one isn't really item, it's a block. This is called the elevator. This is the crafting recipe. And if I stand here, I will get an elytra. And when I stand on the elevator, it throws me away. That is why I'm using Elytra, so I don't die when I step on the ground. But it's really helpful when, especially, don't have rockets. Yeah, it really saves up so much rockets. To the next item. This is called Conveyor, and this one is the... I don't know what's this one. Oh yeah, it's the Butcher. And this one is conveyor belt. Conveyor belt, this is the crafting recipe. And this is for the butcher. You see here, this X previously is not on the boat, after it gets in the boat. But the conveyor belt move most of the mobs. It doesn't do on items, it doesn't do on mine cards, but it does work on this kind of mobs. Yeah, it's really cool. The way you place it, it will face you like the piston does the butcher kills anything in front of it I haven't really tested it but yeah you see there it attacks the boat and the pig and the pig is like walking here it's not a treadmill bro 
It's a conveyor. <laughs> okay, then into the next thing is the clouds. Here is the crafting recipe. Using four diorun, I'm just gonna pick up this and craft myself because that's just one. I need much of this. Here is the cloud. You right click with this, it spawns in clouds wherever you look at. So it's like something for uh, parkour, I guess, or building. This is really helps building a lot. And the starting is really fast. Yeah, it's really, really cool. On Android, you can hold your touch to spawn these things, which is very awesome. The next items. Okay. Wait, I have covered all of them. So, anyway, guys, that's all I got time for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.